Have you ever wondered how a servo motor works? Well, you're about to find out. Picture a tiny device with an output shaft. This isn't just any shaft, mind you. This one can be positioned to specific angular positions. Now how does it achieve this feat? It's all about the coded signal. As long as this signal exists on the input line, our little device will maintain the angular position of the shaft. But what happens when the coded signal changes? Well, like a diligent worker, the shaft adjusts its angular position accordingly. Think of it as a loyal soldier receiving commands and executing them with precision. Yet the true marvel isn't just in the execution, it's in the how. How does this tiny device interpret these signals? How does it manage to adjust its position with such accuracy? In essence, a servo motor receives a command and executes it. But the magic lies in how it does this. Now that you know what a servo motor is, let's delve into its types. There are two main types of servo motors, DC and AC. Let's start with DC servo motors. These motors are powered by direct current electricity. They're commonly used in applications that require a lower power input. Think of your remote-controlled toy car zipping around the living room floor. That's a DC servo motor at work. On the flip side, we have AC servo motors. These motors run on alternating current power. They are typically used in high-power applications. For instance, in large industrial machines that need a serious punch of power to operate effectively. It's the AC servo motor that's flexing its muscles in the background. So whether it's a toy car racing down your hallway or a large industrial machine churning out products, there's a good chance you'll find one of these types of servo motors at work. Ever thought about what goes on inside a servo motor? Well, it's time to unravel the mystery. At the heart of a servo motor, you'll find four key players. A direct current or DC motor, a gear set, a control circuit, and an output shaft. The DC motor is the powerhouse, the one that sets everything in motion. It's like the engine of a car, propelling the whole system forward. Then we have the gear set. These aren't just any gears, though. They're specially designed to amplify the motor's force, allowing it to produce a larger amount of torque. Next up is the control circuit. This is the brains of the operation, managing the motor's speed and direction. It's like the driver behind the wheel, making sure everything moves in the right direction at the right pace. Finally, we have the output shaft, responsible for transferring the motor's energy to the device it's powering. So, while it may seem complex, the inner workings of a servo motor are all about teamwork among its components. So where do you find these nifty servo motors in action? Well, their applications are as varied as they are fascinating. Let's start with robotics. Servo motors are the heart and soul of many a robot providing precision movement and control. They empower robots to perform complex tasks, from assembling intricate electronic components to performing delicate surgical procedures. Then there's CNC machinery. These computer-controlled devices rely on servo motors for precise, repeatable movements, making them indispensable in industries like automobile manufacturing and aerospace. But it's not all about heavy machinery. Servo motors also make their way into our homes quietly powering a range of devices. They're the reason why your camera can autofocus. They ensure your radio-controlled car zips around just as you command, and they even regulate the movement of the cooling fan inside your computer. From the smallest toys to the largest machines, servo motors are everywhere, making our lives easier and more efficient. Thank you, fantastic viewers, for being a part of the FixFlare tech community. Your support means the world to us. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll unravel another fascinating tech topic. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and I'll catch you in the next one. This is MQ Joshi, signing off from FixFlare Tech. See you soon.